Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Scorpio, this is the Beware spread. We've got the Four of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Um, lots of cups cards so we've got the three of cups on the bottom of the deck this is a card of uh, reunification celebration and I think in your case combined with the other cards this is about um, some kind of a reconciliation um, so what you need to be aware of if you're, if you're thinking about uh, reconciling with somebody if you're thinking about uh, you know reaching out to an X, then unfortunately your offer to reconcile will be rejected. Um, we've got the Four of Cups, this is a card of uh, a refusal or a rejection. And the Six of Cups, like I said, this is a card of someone or something from the past. And the Nine of Pentacles is the card of um, a single lady, it doesn't have to be a lady, it could be a male or female, doesn't matter, but the, the point of this card <clears throat> in this spread is uh, whoever you're reaching out to and making this uh, offer to reboot the relationship they're <clears throat> at this point of their life they're uh, fine on their own and they're not even looking to uh, be in a relationship with somebody um, so don't feel too bad on yourself this is them it's not you um, like I said, if you are thinking of uh, re-establishing a relationship with somebody, that person will most likely reject your offer. And this is what you need to be aware of this month. Uh, this is the advice spread. Uh, we've got the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Pen Pentacles, and the Hangman. I think the advice is very straightforward here. Uh, concentrate on your work or your finances or other areas of your life where you've been waiting for something. Because if you continue waiting for that particular X, it'll not go anywhere. It'll continue to be in the uh, stuck situation like the hangman card suggests. So um, work on other things, work on partnerships, work on your finances, your uh, abundance for the time being. Let's talk about the next good thing that will happen to you, Scorpio, in the month of April. Uh, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, the Devil, Death, and the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Uh, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or another Scorpio. Um, since we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is the uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female, doesn't really matter. I think the uh, main center point, <laughs> so to speak, is this Earth sign. Or this could be somebody who is very grounded, good with their finances, or even a nurturing person. So I think this is the centerpiece, <laughs> and everything is revolving around that. And uh, you will most likely be dealing with this person. Or something that wasn't directly uh, connected with you could be coming to an end in regards to this person. So perhaps you have somebody in the vicinity of your life, someone you already know, uh, could be an ex, and perhaps they're involved with this earth sign, and that connection is coming to an end. This person will become single, and this will put a smile on your face for, for one reason or the other. So that's how I'm seeing it. Like I said, uh, this has to do with the earth sign and something in regards to that is coming to an end and that will uh, be the good news for you. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.